We are at FBIC 2012, and we're going to look at the Whitaker's Engine 12 Rescue Pumper Design. This is a great layout and setup by the fire department. This is a neat feature too, with actually the control covers over your gauges. It's just showing you a different look for what can be done on the pump panel for color coding. Showing you the quartz light and just the roof. Showing you their first compartment, extremely deep. It's full depth, full height on both sides. It's just showing you the controls for their command light up on top. Wheel chocks on the bottom. Just showing you the rear compartment right here for their hydraulic tools, power unit. It's a neat compartment too. It just shows you a pull-out tool board with all of their tools actually mounted on there. It shows you the simplicity of pulling it out. As we come to the rear, got a great setup off the rear. Now they actually have a Newton dump valve into the rear compartment. They have their direct tank fill. That's kind of a neat option where they put their hose stored in there. Their rear aerodirectional bar and their rear vision camera. As you come to the officer side, again, just showing you where they have placed their electric cord reel. Showing you the adjustable shelf in there. Another deep compartment. And then showing you the pump panel on the officer side. This actually will show you their medical cabinet that can go the access here as well as the back. This gives you a quick snapshot on the inside of the cab. So it just will give you a quick visual. E1s have always been built with the roll cage protection. They are one of the toughest cabs built in the world. And just, again, provide excellent safety for the firefighter. The front bumper, this is a neat design. It's kind of a different looking front bumper that it's extremely durable, strong. They have their front jump line and the Q2B siren. Just give you a visual of the front of the cab. If you'd like more information, please feel free to check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Sunbelt Fire. Thank you for what you do and stay safe.